Hi, my name is Jenna, and I'm going to show you how to customize your lead form right in Dulato. You'll start by clicking on Clients, and then click on the lead form. This is the link where you can copy and paste the lead form and the embed code, and it starts out with just a basic form here, which you can keep, or you can customize it by hitting the Customize button here. The editor will pop up, and you can adjust any sections here, and I will show you how each one works. If you would like to add a new section, you can hit the section here and you will change the title right there. When you add a new section, it will automatically start with a text field. If you don't need a text field there, one thing you do need to know is that you need to add something first before you delete the text field, otherwise the whole section will be deleted. Say you wanted to add a multiple choice instead, you would add that first. You can choose whether it's required or not. And then hit done. Now, if you want to delete the text field, you can go ahead and do that by hitting delete field and this section will still stay here. Another thing to note is that you can map the fields to different parts of the client's contact card. You'll see that right here where it says map to. So for things like the phone number, it'll go right to the phone number section. However, you can add it to notes or save as a custom field. So I'll go ahead and add a couple of things and show you where that shows up on your lead form once someone has filled it out. So say you would like this to go to a custom field. So you can change that to save as a custom field and we'll add something else that you can add to the notes. Right here, you'll just make sure that it is checked add to notes and hit done. Then I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to copy and paste this and fill it out so you can see what it looks like when someone fills out the lead form. The link will take you to the form that looks like this. So when you send that out to a prospective client or have it on your social media or website, this is what will happen when the person clicks on it. And I will fill all this out and show you where it ends up in your client list. So after someone fills out the form, it will pop up in your client's list here. And you can see that the status is lead. When you click on that, you can see their contact card and you can see the notes here. That was where I had the question and I had it sent to the notes section. And then the one where I put custom field ends up over here. And you can add as many things as you would like into that so that they would all show up here or under the notes. Another thing to note when you are editing the form is that these fields can be moved. So if you want to move the questions around at all, you can drag them. And as you can see, as I'm dragging it, it changes the width of the field. So you might want two fields right next to each other, or you might want three fields right next to each other. Um, if you drag it in line with another one, it can automatically make it wider or more narrow. Um, and then if you slide it all the way back down to an empty row, then it'll take up one row. Okay. So I just kind of had to shift things around so it looks the way it did before, but just to show you if you are adjusting where any of the fields are, it might make it a little bit smaller or a little bit larger, depending on where you leave it. Another thing to note is if you need to delete a section altogether, you actually can't delete it by clicking that. You would have to delete everything within that section first, and then it will delete. and then remove the section automatically. You can also edit these pre-filled out sections as well. You can change the name of them if you would like to. And that is how you customize the lead forms.